Welcome to Quantum Mechanics, a powerful framework for understanding the universe. Hi everybody, welcome back. We're going to continue our study of scattering and tunneling by considering the step potential. So what do I mean by that? Last time we considered a constant potential on the constant on the entire real line. Now we're going to consider a situation where the potential is zero for x less than zero and constant but positive for x greater than zero. So that's where the step comes from. It's zero and then at x equals zero you step up to a value v. All right. Now the probability current is going to be very useful in our considerations of this. So if you go back and look at the continuity equation that it obeys, you can see the probability current is constant. So across the step, that is on either side of x equals zero, the probability current should be equal. And we write down this matching condition on either side. Now, mm, why is that important? Well, it should be obvious, but it's not obvious why um, it's important. Obviously true. So this requires the uh, wave function and its first partial derivative, or just its derivative, it depends on one variable, to be continuous across the finite step. And we said at the very beginning we were going to demand this of our wave functions. So, there are two cases to consider. Total energy bigger than the potential step. That would agree with classically allowable motion. And total energy smaller than the potential step. And that's going to be an interesting case that we look at. <coughs> so, the momentum in the two cases, given by this. Now, the strategy we're going to use is we have two regions x less than 0, x greater than 0. We're going to write down the general form that the wave function should have in those two regions, taking into account physical considerations. By that I mean for x less than 0, we have a term corresponding to a particle moving from left to right. and a term corresponding to a particle moving from right to left. And that would take into account, well, we don't know what A0 and B0 are, they're general constants right now, complex constants, and we need to determine them in terms of the matching conditions. Conservation of probability, and, uh, well, okay, so, we have two terms corresponding to particles moving from left to right and the possibility that particles are reflected from the potential step. Well, this seems a little bit weird because energy is greater than the potential step, but we include this anyway and see what happens. And we have this term for x greater than zero, okay? We assume in that region, because particles start from minus infinity and move towards plus infinity, left to right, we assume in this region we only have particles that move from left to right. That is, there are only particles that are transmitted, not, reflect, not moving backwards. The reflection has been taken care of plus possibility of reflection has been taken care of in this term. Okay, so if that's the case, then our most general form for the wave function for x greater than zero would need to have b1 equals zero. And so we put b1 equal to zero. Okay. 
And now we'd have some algebra to do, and I'll tell you how to do it, but it's best that you work through this yourself. So we demand that the two, two, two pieces of the wave function, the wave function for x less than zero, the wave function x greater than zero, be equal at the step, and that their derivatives be equal at the step. And that gives us these conditions. We can solve both of those equations for a1 is a function of a0, b0 is a function of a0. There are various ways to do this. Now the probability current, we found we computed the probability current for a wave function of this type is given by this. So if we demand the probability current be the same on either side of the step, we get this relation. So this gives us enough. So we have 1, 2, 3 equations, 3 unknowns. But we want to have an interpretation for these before we move forward. This term, k a naught squared, is a probability current from left to right for x less than 0. I mean, you can read that essentially off the equations. k b naught squared is a probability current from right to left also for x less than 0. And this last term is the probability current from left to right for, for x greater than 0. Now, we can re rewrite this expression for probability current e being equal on either side. And you get this expression. And this leads to two definitions from this expression. The reflection coefficient, which is the reflected probability current divided by the incoming from left to right, probability current, and the transmission coefficient, transmitted probability current, divided by the incoming probability current. And you can check with these definitions, if you go back to this, that we have reflection coefficient plus transmission coefficient is equal to 1. And that's exactly what sh we should have if probability is conserved, which it is. OK. Now we go to the next case, 0 less than e less than v. That's the classically forbidden case. The same strategy. Well, it's, uh, forget I said classically forbidden. Um, we're going to see what I mean by that. I'm, I'm jumping the gun a little bit. Uh, e less than v, certainly for x less than 0, everything's fine. The problem we run into is for x greater than 0, and that's when we have the, the situation is classically forbidden. OK, so the same strategy we, we uh, carried out earlier. We write down the wave function. We now redefine appropriate for this case, these wave numbers. We write down the wave function in the re two regions, x less than 0 and x greater than 0. So x less than 0 is the same as, as the previous case, because there's no potential there. a naught e to the i k naught x plus b naught e to the minus i k, I k naught x, corresponding to a particle moving from left to right, and the potent possibility of it moving from right to left. So to have reflected particle. OK, now, in this case, the wave function for x greater than 0 is different. It has this exponentially growing and exponentially decaying terms. OK. 
we want to rule this, we, we don't want to accept this physically. Wave functions that blow up in, because remember, this is, this is, I mean, it blows up for x going to minus infinity, the other one, but this is only in the region x from zero to plus infinity. Okay. Now we do exactly the same thing. Match conditions on either side. Match probability. Have the same interpretation. And what you end up getting is everything is, ref all the probability current is reflected. Which would mean And you can check the algebra on this. Nothing is transmitted. Hmm. Okay. But, nevertheless, if you look at the modulus squared of the wave function in x greater than zero, there is some probability density. It decays to zero quite quickly. But there is some probability density. So what does this mean exactly? This is related to the phenomenon of quantum tunneling. And that's what we want to look at next. OK, check my algebra. Think about it, what it all means. And uh, we can discuss it in the problem sessions. But until then, and until next time, see you later. Bye.